everyone, hope you're all well. I wanted to just jump on here to do a little breakdown of a shoot that I did recently. So an art director who I work with quite regularly, we worked on some Sports Direct stuff, got in touch because he is now the creative director of Functional Fitness Union. So the premise of the shoot was Functional Fitness Union needed a bunch of images to kind of help launch their Instagram. They had shot a couple of things previously, portraits of uh, new members who had signed up to Functional Fitness Union and as well as kind of pushing out details of just what was it all about. But they needed some CrossFit style images to go along with that to kind of show what they're all about. So we got a couple of regular members from Royal Docks London, which is where Functional Fitness Union kind of was born from. And a socially distanced, empty gym, we let those two ladies kind of go at it and kind of get their first fitness session in, in at least a few months whilst gyms have been closed. We shot this relatively simple with two lights, two Profoto B10 Plus heads, which I have one on me here, and uh, one with a Okta softbox, kind of at a side, rather than being straight on to the model, to the athlete, I like to kind of move it a little sideways, and that way you get a little bit of a soft spill over your model. And then we had a beauty dish, I don't think it had a grid on it, but that was just behind the athlete, and it was coming in basically generally from the window direction that you'll see in some of the pictures, just to emphasize that flare, emphasize that sunshine coming in. To kind of also offer a little bit of a hair clip just to help the model stand out from the background. So we're short and snappy with this one. We let Yanar and Sophia kind of get on with their workout and I just kind of moved around them as they were doing it. From time to time, I would stop them and say, hold on, that exercise looks good. Let me just adjust the lights so we can get this perfect. And I might have asked them to run through it a couple of times, maybe a couple of times more than they would have actually wanted to. But they were absolute troopers, which is kind of what I usually find with most athletes, actually. I usually find with athletes uh, in particular, they just want to get on with it. I mean, the two ladies, they just wanted to work out anyway, so it was super easy to get the pictures of them. As far as retouching goes, I basically sent Jack quite a large collection of images. I think it might have even been 80 to 100 and asked him to make his selects kind of 20 from there, which when you break it down is only one in four, so it's not like he had a mountain to get through. Of that 24, I selected a bunch of my own and retouched those, but otherwise, as functional fitness is just getting off the ground or as, as functional fitness union is just getting off the ground, I gave them those 24 images just with a grade on. I went through them a little bit and checked that there was no, uh, nothing too out of the ordinary, no discrepancies or like weird things, doing weird things in the background or anything like that, anything out of the ordinary, kind of like quality control. Um, and then for my favorites, I took them into Photoshop, edited them, and then that would be images that I could use for myself or that Functional Fitness Union could use in more prominent places. So either on their website, in mailers, or any sort of like PR or promotional material, because you wanna make sure those hero images are looking at their best. And I guess that just about wraps up the shoot. This was actually my first shoot back uh, post lockdown. All went swimmingly, all went well. Everyone was adhering to social distancing. There was hand sanitizer flying about like crazy. Everything was wiped down as far as the kit before and after every shoot. I'm now wiping down my kit with disinfectant and that includes running it over the cables, the camera and everything like that just to make sure that every precaution has been taken. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have been back to it since COVID, let me know how it went. Let me know any precautions and cautions that you took. And if you haven't, just let me know how you're managing. It'd be great if the comment section could become kind of like an open discussion on this. I know there's a lot of variation in photographers getting back to work and photographers who aren't. And I feel particularly with social media, particularly with Instagram, when you see a curated bunch of different stories or posts from different photographers, makeup artists and stylists in there. It seems like everyone is back shooting and it could be easy to kind of fall victim of that and start to panic and think that everyone is back shooting, but really it's just the curation of shoots that are. So let me know your thoughts on that. I might be wrong. Maybe you're all back shooting loads and I'm sitting here, but who knows? Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you on the next one.